Hey guys, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome to Avon Colony. This is my first proper recording since I've returned to the country. What is happening here? Congratulations on your promotion to no. no, no exposition, buddy. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that one right out. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that at all. Uh, yeah, so we're not gonna go through the whole story thing. I mean, there's a story here and I'm, you know, I'm doing the, the story mission, but that's only because it's got some, um, I don't know, I find it interesting. It's nice to have a little guided thing going on with little, little sub-objectives and, and whatnot. Uh, so we're just going to do this one mission, and uh, if the video does well, if you want to see more, then we'll maybe do some sandbox. Uh, but this is this is Avon Colony. It's a sci-fi uh, city builder. As uh, simple as that. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's good to play something that that has some, uh, such a simple description. Uh, so for anyone who's wondering, for like the one or two people who may be wondering, this does work very well in twenty one by nine. The uh, the ultra wide. Uh, aspect ratio. I'm not going to show that to you just yet because it's sort of a it's a niche niche interest, and I'm thinking maybe uh, look we won't go into that. We won't go into that. Let's just play the game, shall we? <laughs> Enough of that rambling. Uh, so what's interesting about Avon Colony is, like I said in my last vlog, it's kind of um, it feels like a puzzle, uh, and that wasn't like evident the first time I played it so I wasn't sure about it but now that that's like now I've got that sort of puzzle mentality in my mind it's like a, you, 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 you're presented with problems and you need to figure out how to best uh, solve them which is actually quite fun uh, but it's not the kind of uh, city builder like like or, or management game or I don't know like I've been playing a lot of Tropico lately and that's a completely different kind of game this is more you know, less about the people and doing whatever you want and more about solving problems. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of this. We're going to need to reach 200 electricity supply. So the reason that I'm... Let me just pull the volume back up now. Uh, the reason I'm playing uh, this map is because I haven't... Or this mission is because I haven't beaten it. And it's quite interesting. There, There's very little uh, space to produce food. So uh, at the start of the game, you've actually got to... How do we, we just pause by going back? Yeah, okay. Um, at the start of the game, you've actually got to rely on trade, which is really cool. And I love the way the trade mechanic works and the bringing in population, uh, which you will hopefully see uh, soon. So, you know, everything works. Uh, camera works with the wads, which is a real nice, you know, addition by default. Uh, Q and E, rotate the camera. Uh, but we're good to go. So let's, let's just go into power. And uh, I think straight off the bat, I, I absolutely do not mind building a, a bit of ge geo geothermal thermal action if i can if i can pronounce it so the way I, I like to i like to rock this you can build however you want and just i can i can feel a cough coming i'm still a little bit sick uh so if i sound nasal or if i i cough i apologize i'm going to try and cut out the coughs because i know it's like the worst thing in the world uh, a youtuber coughing in the mic it's, it's so annoying uh, it's almost as bad as my squeaky chair. Let's get that out of the way, you know. <laughs> I should just start every video with the squeaky chair. All right, let's unpause, shall we? Uh, we can actually speed this up and get this shit going. I don't think this is going to give us all the power we need, but it'll it'll get us there. And there's a nice little progress bar towards our goal, which I appreciate. There's a lot of nice little things here. Um... Yeah, so, you, you know, you can conceivably just make a mass of buildings, you know, just connect them however you want and make it look really ugly. I like to do self-contained little sort of, like, suburbs or little sub-cities. Oh, no, that did, did actually give us all the power we need. Um, and that's more just, like, for looks and organizational things. But you'll see in a moment, you'll see in a moment. All right, so uh, we need to build an iron mine. And it's going to show us where that is if we want. But look, we know, man, we know, we're good to go. Um... Excuse me, build a gold mine, which is right there, which is why I sort of hooked it up this way so we can do a nice little, you know, I like to make things, uh, you know, straight and, and nice looking and build a water pump. That's probably what we're going to do first because uh, we don't want to run out of water anytime soon. So we've got a couple options here and this is what I really like about the game. It gives you, uh, for most things, it gives you at least two ways to do it. Uh, so here we can get presumably... Um, more water or perhaps a more efficient means of getting water. So how much, hang on, how much does this cost? Nine nanites to build requires five power and four workers as opposed to eight nanites, five power and three workers. Interesting. 
Interesting. But does this produce less? It produces a, what, five? A flat, flat five? Is that right? 0.5? I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, so we've got a water pump, which which will uh, actually, you know, you put down on the ground. You can see here little little blue areas. Uh, there's some more over here. So it, it very much depends on where you place it. <clears throat> Whereas the atmospheric condenser, you can put wherever you want. And presumably it, it, it uh, produces the same amount of, of water regardless. All right. I'm going to try and like not make this whole thing explanation. Uh, let's like, let's put the water pump let's put it let's put it there you know i want to i want to place it to you know in line with my um my plans for sectioning these areas off but we've also got to take into account the um the uh you know best place to put so we've also we've got this sort of construction drone thing and all these buildings here are very much temporary you can get rid of them if you want they you can't rebuild them they're just there to start you off to hold your population but what's cool is you can't get rid of them until you've made them obsolete so uh these are your habitation modules life support modules as they're called this is where people live so you need to exceed i think you need to be able to house 50 population uh with other buildings before you can get rid of these so you can't screw yourself you can screw yourself in other ways make no mistake and it has a lot to do with uh like if you demolish these walkways these um tube road things um and cut off your power to like the rest of your colony, then you're fucked. So <laughs> one thing I've learned to do is uh, is have redundancies, right? Have, re have redundant uh, walkways and whatnot. All right, so let's get this gold uh, down. We'll try and uh, speed this up. Like I said, I'm not going to go through uh, just like uh, prattling on for forever and always. So we've got these little drones here. Almost everything, uh, almost, yeah, almost everything can be upgraded to be more efficient, which I like, which usually seems like a wiser choice as opposed to just building a, uh, a second module. And the construction, uh, construction drone hubs here, as you upgrade them, they'll get more drones, so they'll build faster and, um, and their influence will split, spread, wow, uh, spread so you can, you can build more. So that's basically our buildable area here. Again, we're going to just go drop the volume for myself so that, uh, that guy talking doesn't, doesn't mess me up. But basically this is this, well, I'm not going to tell you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not that interesting, but there is a, a little story going on in the background there. Build a trade hub, build a trade hub. So this is, uh, this is what I like. So basically you can, you can set up uh, you just check a box and it's like exchange this item for that item and it does it automatically. But what's cool is if you want more uh, trade routes, then you build more trade hubs. It's as simple as that. It's uh, it's ultra simple and it makes a huge amount of set sense and I love it. Uh, so I'm just going to put it there next to my, uh, my geothermal generator, I think. So another interesting thing that we're going to have to do in a moment is, um, is put down some like what do they call them? Apartments or just, you know, habitats or whatever. So they, look, the people over here, for example, they're not going to be too happy traveling all the way over here to this mine just to work. They're not too bad. They're not too upset about it now, but like the further out you get, the more of a problem it becomes. So you've actually got to end up, um, you got, you got to build like accommodation pretty much like far, far, far out. So what I tend to do is, for important, for, for most sort of situations, for most industries and, and important, uh, you know, services like power and whatnot, I will build um, apartments like right next to them and, and put them on high priority uh, inhabitants or whatever it is. So that, so the people prioritize going into there so they can go like, so they can be right next to their work. Um, and then like beyond that, any overflow, then I have like a central big metropolis thing, which is kind of cool. So we've got a reward. We'll, uh, we'll take... We'll take the pasta, I guess. Well, there's go. There goes the squeaky chair. So you know we're low on food, so um, we need that pasta action. So I think we're going to. Well, first we'll speed up a little bit and we'll wait for the missions because it's going to give us a reward when we do it. So we need to build a storage depot, uh, exchange gold for rice, and we need to build a nanite processor. Hold on, I'm going to cough. There we go. We're all good. Uh, so I'll just hit T here and go export gold and import 250 rice. So it's 20 gold per 250 rice. Presumably simple as that. And now, and now we will watch. Hopefully, is he going to go? Is he going to go? 
don't don't forget we're we're producing gold here. There he goes, and he, and he's off. He's off. It's as simple as that. So now we've got our food sorted out for now. Uh, then there's also the issue of like food diversity and whatnot. Okay, so we're we're in the middle of winter at the moment, which means uh, if if we could build farms here, uh, which of course we can't, they wouldn't produce anything in winter. Uh, greenhouses produce, I think half 50 percent they produce 50 percent during winter uh so there's actually you know you and i think power of power production is reduced during winter as well um depending on where you're getting your power from so it's actually really interesting you've got to prepare for the winter and you can have like a an awesome little colony and this happened to me before you can have an awesome little colony winter comes around and then you're fucked and it's it just all goes to pot and the mission's over it's uh you know squeaky chair there you go but uh, yeah, it's definitely something you got to look out for. So we've got to build a nanite process. I think, I think I'm going to do this first. Uh, basically, this is our currency. This is, for lack of a better term, this is how we how we build. So I think, what do we use? We use uh, iron, copper, or kelco sludge. Kelco sludge. Wow, chairs uh, your chairs and squeak for like two weeks because I haven't been here. So it's like it's really putting in the the, the man hours on that squeaking. Uh, so it's the the iron mine is going to be uh, you know our part of our nanite production cycle here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the the nanite production right uh, right up next to it, and to help get that going, I really should be putting down uh, an apartment block. So that they can work there without having to travel too far. Because, uh, you know, the, the more they have to travel, then they kind of get a little bit pissed off. Which, uh, look, the, the inhabitants of your colony are kind of... They're a bunch of pansies. Not to put too fine a point on it, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll put the we'll put the storage depot... Put it right there. And you know what? And then afterwards, we can put another trade hub there and get some real savagery going uh, all up in here. And I think we're going to upgrade our uh, construction drone hub which i have done just by clicking on it and pressing u alternatively you can click on the tab here and click uh, click upgrade there you can also see i really really like the way that happiness is presented it's done with these bars uh bigger bars mean they're happier about that issue or unhappier uh consumption they're a little bit concerned with Yep, they don't feel like we have enough food. They're also a little bit concerned we haven't got enough uh, entertainment, but it's nowhere near an issue right now. Whoop, just tap the mic. Terribly sorry. Uh, for the most part, everyone is quite happy, but uh, it's great that you can see happiness on a building by building, um, you know, basis. So as you can see here, uh, people working here are not too happy about the commute, clearly, because they haven't moved into this apartment yet. So we're going to go high occupancy here. So we're going to uh, encourage them to move into this apartment complex uh, before any any other, and uh, and hopefully get a nice healthy uh, work base here. And as a result, happiness should go up. So what's this guy's problem? Yeah, the commute. There's one thing. Hang on. Current destination. I feel like that's broken. I feel like that should work, but it doesn't. I want to see his current destination. More specifically, I want to know where he lives because then I can maybe sort some things out. Reach an average of 90% air quality. So air quality is another thing. Import a total of 500 food. This is something I can do. Okay. Um, get the sound back up. Sorry, sorry for rocking back and forth between the sound options. Actually, can we just wait? Um, options, yes. Options is what I want. Uh, audio, there we go, there we go. Voice, let's just put voice straight, straight down. There we go, there we go, that's what I want. Cool, cool. So in terms of graphics options, look guys, it's early access. And for anyone who, just as a little side note, um, if you're interested in playing the game now and you want to get in on the early access level, um, it's 25 US dollars or 24.99 at, uh, what is it? Itch, itch.io itch.io <laughs> no it's uh, itch.io as a website um it's a it's a platform i've heard of but i'm not at all familiar with it so that's all i'm gonna say there if you if you if you want to try it that's how you do it it's not on steam early access yet but i think they're gonna do it later i'm not sure i'm not sure it's gonna come to steam at the you know when it releases uh at the at the very least but for now uh let's Let's get this going. Let's get this going. So air quality, our air quality is actually pretty good. But if we go to air quality here and we have a look, um, 
as you can see, you know, the greener it is, the better. Uh, naturally, you know, near our power production, the air quality is not fantastic. So we have a couple options. We can do an air filter. Excuse me, that was another cough. We can do an air filter or we can do um, an intake fan. Intake fan is cheaper and the uh, the pollution is not too bad right now. So I think, I think I'll just do that. And put it up there because I'll put a couple apartment, a couple of apartments in there. I think, I think import 500 food. Uh, all right, let's get this apartment situation going. Uh, can we get? Yeah, I wish there was a way. There might be, but I just don't know. Um, oh, I wish there was a way to rotate buildings. You can kind of trick it into into placing the building in the direction you want. Um, but I really would like a button to just rotate. So there we go, nice little fan. I really like the look of that. I really like the look of it. And and the general, the look of the game is, um, I'm conflicted because, I mean, it doesn't look bad and there are certain parts that look really good. But uh, again, it's early access. The, the graphics options change on their own. So uh, it's a little bit awkward and it absolutely uses more uh, GPU. Well, as far as I'm aware, I'm, look, look, I'm not a game developer. I don't, I don't know, I'm not a, like a, a game engine engineer or designer or whatever but uh i would say my observation is it uses more gpu power than it perhaps should but uh there you go there you go so is this is this full up no let's just speed up here let's see how we go let's just run it at, at full tilt this is actually how i usually play so air quality alert how are we going there how are we going it's kind of shit <laughs> what if we just upgrade i like that um in terms of buildings, nothing is locked off. Or at least very little is. It's sort of all all good to go straight off straight off the bat. So you might not necessarily be able to build a, a tier 3 intake fan straight off the bat, but you can build a tier 1 and upgrade it to a tier 3. That's the only sort of lock off. It's like, you must have a tier 2 before you can build a tier 3. Which doesn't bother me at all, because in most cases it makes more sense to upgrade anyway. Alright. All righty, all righty. So, you know, that's uh, they'll, they'll come to live there soon enough. I think air quality, it's just the air quality issue right now. We're in winter right now. Also, another thing you need to, another thing you need to take into account with uh, intake fans is when there's like a, a gas situation, because there are sort of disasters uh, that, that occur that you need to deal with. Whenever there's a gas situation, they are sensitive to that. Whereas an air filter is not. All right, all right. How's that air quality going? Still kind of, kind of terrible. Do we, do we put another one here maybe? I'm not like super sure how air quality works. If it's just confined to this area or if it like seeps, that might be a problem. I wonder, hang on, I wonder, oh baby, oh baby, can we, can we do this? Wait a second. If I do, if I do that and that, this is just like backup stuff here at the moment. So... We'll, we'll scooch back on the speed a little bit. I'll delete that. And because again, I'm like, it's, it's early access. So not everything is like super clear. Maintains an Earth-like oxygen ratio inside the colony. Is much more expensive than an air intake, but also more efficient and is not vulnerable to toxic gas emissions. So I'm wondering if we put this at, you know, between this area and the rest of the colony, does it actually stop, you know, the pollution from getting to the rest of the colony? No, no idea whatsoever, but I'm going to try it, see what happens. So the reason that I, that I built these other tunnels here is, uh, if I'd gotten rid of that, we'd lose power to the construction, uh, thing and we would have lost because <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to do anything. Okay. So how's that, uh, how's that air situation going? We'll see if that works. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, um. Now I think, I think we might need to uh, get rid of some of this stuff. You know what? I think we need to upgrade our power because that's something that, um, that sort of creeps up on you. As you can see, we're kind of getting close to the threshold here. Uh, this number is, of course, the amount of power we're producing. This is how much we're using. Um, yep, that's right. <laughs> just double checking. That's what's going on. That is what's going on. Our air quality is getting better. Ah, but over here. Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, we'll do the same thing, I think. 
We'll do do a little bit of that action. Uh, and just get, get an air filter going, I guess. All good? All good, baby? Yeah, we're good. See how we go. <clears throat> That's sorting it out, right? That's actually going really good. So hang on, what if I... Can I shut this... I can't deactivate it. While zone has sufficient power. So what if I... What if I delete it? I've never, I've never handled uh, pollution this way before. So this is, this is an experiment and it might actually be working for me. There we go. We did it. So I don't know if like the fact that, you know, I sort of, I, I blocked off, like you, you, you can see what I've done. You know, I've put the filter um, in, in the path leading into the rest of the colony. I don't know if that's helped it, but uh <laughs> it was enough. So we're going to go with 12 immigrants. Uh, so we can more easily get some, you know, get some more jobs going. Oh, good Lord. I thought I put the speech down, guys. What's going on here? Voice volume. Sound effects. UI volume. Whatever. We'll just lower that. Uh, lower that so you can't, can't hear it. So in the meantime, uh, let's speed some shit up here. We've got a new mission builder habitat. This is something I can do. Um, I think we're going to start getting rid of all this. We're probably going to have to go ham with the power pretty soon. Because we're getting rid of the power that we have. Um, kind of got to be careful here. I don't want to, like, block everything off, right? Alright, we're good. We're good. Good, good, good. Now, I could keep that there, but I like to be neat. You know I do. So I think we got to we need to, we need more power first, and then I'm gonna get rid of this solar panel. Um, we'll get rid of this small solar panel. Okay, they want a habitat, but first let's get some uh, let's get some solar action going on. That's out of the range of our of our building situation. Do I do I put it over here maybe? Um, or I could just put it here. Yeah, that that that'll work. That'll be fine. Um, I like to have, you know, well, I say I like to have, but it makes sense to make the, uh, the construction hubs, the sort of the central point of your, of your colony. Cause they're the center of, of, of your buildable area. Okay. All right. So what now? What now? <laughs> habitat. Habitat. Uh, we could put it there, but I kind of want to put it like right next to, right next to. Maybe an immigration center, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, so where are we going to put these guys? Um, which way are we going to build out? I just can't, hang on. Let me just have a look. Over here is where the food is, which we'll have to go to eventually. But uh, for the moment, we can survive off of trade. So do we build like this way? That could be kind of cool. That would work, actually. That'd work fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I like that. Um, just maybe... I'm just... I'm thinking... I'm thinking... You know, like, layout here. We want it to look nice. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I like where this is going. Alright. Cool. Uh, so now people are going to hang out over there. Um, now, if we want to increase the, excuse me, I'm going to cough. Mother of God, that's annoying. <laughs> All right. Um, if we want to increase the, uh, the population like quicker, I, I'm assuming the way it works now is we get them, uh, we get, you know, immigrants through rewards as you've, as you've seen, and maybe through our citizens procreating. But uh, if you want them, you know, more reliably, you've got to build an immigration center. And if you want, you know, more, more reliably, then uh, you build two or three or whatnot. It's really cool. And you can see the little ships coming down. It's, it's kind of nice. Uh, so let's see what we've got. Build an immigration center. There you go. I'm, I'm way ahead of you, buddy. I'm way ahead of you. So I'm thinking, like, put, him, put the immigration center in the middle and surround it with habitats. It's going to look real colorful, if you know what I mean, baby. <laughs> All right, how are we going here? Unfortunately, this is not something we can upgrade. 
so it just, you know, it comes at the speed that it comes. And, and that's the end of that. So reach 300 electricity supply, reach 50 population. Can you believe we haven't even got 50 people, people here yet? Increase your nanite income to one per hour. Okay, so this is the interesting stuff. I don't like dealing with food because it's finicky, uh, but I like I like all this uh, you know production nonsense. Power can be finicky too. Uh, like I said, because I think it actually, power production drops in winter. Is that right? Um, no, 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 only from solar panels. So solar panels are, yeah, that's where the, we, we lose power. But what we can do as a result, if we haven't got, you know, enough geothermal action, which we do down here, but that's, you know, it's a little bit far. But what we can do is we can actually uh, build uh, energy batteries and they will collect power when we have a surplus and uh, dish out that power to the col colony when we don't have enough. Uh, it's a risky strategy, but it's, it's a cool one, I think, personally. It's a, it's an interesting way to go. So, what do we, where we, where we could do this? Where are we gonna build our power situation? Maybe in the center, just have like, um, just, just, just build this savage uh, solar panel farm. Thirty nanites, thirty nanites. So we'll build, we'll build another one of those. We'll go tier three straight off the bat. Just, out, just out of interest. Um, um, I don't know. I can't really tell without building a tier one. I'm just wondering, like, is it more efficient to build a tier one and upgrade it or just go straight to a tier three? I'll sort that out later, but this produces 26 power, which doesn't seem like a lot, as opposed to uh, 260 from a tier two uh, geothermal. Okay. Okay. So the reason I've, I've done all this nonsense here is... Can, can you please do what I want? Thank you. <laughs> okay, the reason I've done that is because I want to delete that and put that down. There we go. Okay, so let's actually have a look here. Uh, so how much did this cost? It was 30 nanites to build as opposed to 12 plus, um, plus 10, another 10. So it's more efficient, more cost effective to just build a solar panel plant. 12 plus 10 times two is uh, 32, if I'm not mistaken. I never was very good at math, but you know, I think that's fairly, uh, that's, that's fairly simple addition. Uh, so yeah, so it's, it's actually better to just go for the tier three straight off the bat. Okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. So let's uh, let's get that all going. I'll leave I'll leave the guy tunnels for now, and I'll get rid of them later. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a nice little nice little power farm. Have a couple of batteries somewhere. Okay, so what's our problem? Um, nanite production. This is something we need to sort out. So first order of business. Why are these people upset? Commute, guys, guys. I got a place for you to live right here. I mean. 16, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, there's, there should be enough room, more or less. I don't know, I don't know. Alright, let's just start upgrading this stuff. Uh, but yeah, they're real pissy that they got to walk this whole way. <laughs> they should just suck it up. They should just suck it up. Uh, okay, so... You know, short of going out and building more uh, nanite production, I'm not like 100% sure um, of, you know, how much you, hang on, it probably tells us. Mining rate, point, we'll say 0. 0.75 an hour. Um, I don't know. Well, we're getting one nanite, nanite an hour. So that's done it, I think. You should, yeah, yeah, should do it. Yeah, that's done it. <laughs> All right, reach population 100. We reached 50, now we're gonna reach 100. And we're gonna get that, uh, we're gonna get that power up. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what? I think, I think last thing we'll do is uh, we'll get this power situa situation uh, good and done. And build a couple of batteries, I think. Yeah. 
or one battery to start us off. Is that going to work? Couple of this action, you know, because because uh, we got the uh, we got winter coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> all right. There we go. We're all good there. Uh, build a battery, just one for now, because I think it does require just a a soup song, if you will, of uh, of micromanagement. Oh, cool. So by default, it's it's. It's scooping it up, so that's good. We got uh, we'll take we'll take the immigrants because we got more than enough food. Uh, our food is rock and roll, but we're getting it through trade, so it's not. It's actually showing that we got like negative food income, but that's because it's uh, because trade trade coming in. So our power is good. Increase your food income to six an hour. All right, so this is where we actually actually have to expand over here and start producing our own food. This is where it gets a little bit uh, a little bit awkward. But for now, you know, we'll leave it at that. We got it. We got a nice little sort of industrial area, um, storage. Uh, you know, just like trade docks, power generation. We got the the start of you know immigration center with uh, habitats all around. You know, it's going to be. Uh, Gonna be a little bit like that, you know how it goes. It's gonna look real cool. It's gonna look real cool. We got our uh, our uh, power farm there. It's looking good. It's looking good. Anyway, guys, thank you very very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love, like everything does. Taste the game. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay gamer out.